Ever tried noodling? Nope. Nope, me either. Kind of fishing where you don't use any equipment but your bare hands. That's right. And it's actually a little dangerous. Which is exactly why we sent early show contributor <laughs> Tyler McGill out there to give it a shot. What's up, big fella? Hang in there, Good man. Because your middle name is Danger. That's what I do here at CBS. Um, <laughs> well, we love you. Yeah, there, there are people that find traditional rod and reel fishing a little bit boring. Yeah. They prefer to be in the water, face to face, with a catfish. Seems completely nuts to me. So we decided to head down to Texas, where noodling was recently legalized, to see what the sport's all about. My name's Lewis Calvo, I'm 42, and I'm from Austin, Texas. You ain't gonna have any problem getting in this hole. Brady Knowlton, I'm 30. I've been noodling 16 years. My name is Gary Webb. I didn't catch my first catfish till I was about 12 years old. We don't make no money when we're noodling. 40 miles east of Dallas, on a murky Texas lake, we set out with a group of fishermen to experience noodling. Noodling is catching fish with your hand. You work up your courage to stick your hand into that fish residence and coax him to bite you. You can see that it's kind of sandpapery. I got bit, I've been hooked ever since. So you want to grab him as tight as you can under there. And if it's a big fish, you put both hands in its mouth. Some people think you have to be a man to noodle. So what do you recommend? <laughs> All testosterone, no brain. Yeah. Others say you have to be stupid. Oh. <laughs> I do a lot of crazy stuff, but I don't think I'm gonna stick my hand off in the fish's mouth. <laughs> but for the few who actually do, it's not just a sport, it's a passion. <laughs> Been around the world, done a lot of hunting and fishing. Been chased by lions, elephants, and I don't think anything creates the level of excitement as wrestling with these fish. Until recently, noodling was outlawed in Texas. Before it was legalized, it was a covert activity. You would go out at night, yep. you would wait till all the other fishermen were off the lake. <laughs> a little night noodling? It was fun, but there was always that element of having to look over your shoulder. Opponents argued that reaching underwater and grabbing catfish from their nest during breeding season would deplete the fish population. But fans of the sport argue it's no different than any other form of fishing or hunting. You hunt turkey during the breeding season, you hunt deer during the breeding season. The fishing is best during the spawn for crappie and bass. That's when people come to the lakes. So Brady, an oil man from Dallas, fought for the sport to be legalized, and he won and we were there for his first legal hand-caught catfish. There you go, first legal fish. There it is. Not one to write home about for his size, but the momentousness of the occasion's big to me. And so why is he the one going in? The only one fit. I got him. On our day, it was the smallest guy who caught the biggest fish, a solid 40-pounder. Good job. I'm proud to be a but everyone agrees it's a team effort, <laughs> with good reason. If you go straight down that middle, you should be able to feel it. There's a, a little bit of a danger element when you're hand picking. Pull him up, pull him up. It puts your hand in an unknown area. It's kind of spooky because there's turtles, there could be snakes. You wouldn't wish it on your worst enemy to grab a poisonous snake in his environment. But after noodling my first catfish, hey, yeah. Look at there. Well done. Well done. it's easy to understand why the risk well and pain are all worth it. I got it. It's you and the fish. The fish has no weapons. You have no weapons. Go bask in your glory. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and that's about everything in life. It's about as authentic an American tradition as you can get. In a world where everybody's on an iPad or a Crackberry all day, to just go down to the bare essentials of what we are and to interact with Mother Nature. He's got the shoe in his mouth. And to have this thrill of this wrestling match with the fish, I think it's just a beautiful thing. Wow! Did you? Wow! I mean, did you realize the momentousness of this occasion? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it was big for those guys. I mean, they've been doing it covertly for so long. Yeah. They go out at night, and 
it's scary during the day, just sticking your arm in a hole. You have no idea what's in there. And these but guys at, are doing night, it at night, and the water's kind of murky. You've got some serious war, ween, war wounds. I mean, we're laughing a little, but you're still recovering. We saw it at the end of the piece there. <laughs> well, it, it basically, when you get in, especially on a big one, it cuts up your hand. Um, I ended up actually getting <laughs> infected in my elbow and scarred up my arm because they, they basically, when you get in there and they hit you, especially the young ones, they'll cut. Yeah. And then you're in this water, and it's not the cleanliest or most sanitary of conditions nice. where the catfish are living. Tyler, you are a trooper, man. <laughs> Good stuff. We the best you. part, he says he'll do it again. Oh.